Hi there, welcome to the Nerd Stop. I'm your host, Sean Kors, the Type 1 Pad 1. And today I'm doing my reaction video to the movie Mad Max Fury Road, out now in theaters. Um, so basically, I'm going to go through the storyline a little bit. No spoilers, I'm not going to give away any big details, but I'm going to give you my first reactions and just what I thought of the movie Mad Max Fury Road. Um, so let's start off. This movie is amazing. Um, I'm already saying it's a 5 out of 5 stars for me. Um, I was blown away by it. Um, me and my roommate went to see it on opening day, um, and we got to see it in 3D, which is pretty cool. Um, and he described it best. This movie starts off high adrenaline action up here, and it does not stop. This whole movie is just action pack explosions, in your face, car chases, action, action, action. Amazing. Um, it really hits on um, the Road Warrior, um, Mad Max the Road Warrior. Um, it has some kind of, you know, it gives, it gives some kind of um, throwbacks to the original Mad Max the Road Warrior and the prior films, but um, like I said, it's, it's a movie all in its own and it's an amazing reboot. Um, just to say, Tom Hardy does an amazing job with Mad Max. Um, I think he interprets interprets Mel Gibson's form of Max really well, and I loved it. I hope he does more of this. I hope a series continues with this. Um, but really, the character that I am most impressed by and that I am just head over heels for right now is Charlize Theron's uh, character, which is Furiosa, who is this gunslinging kind of rogue strong woman with um, a mechanical hand that she created out of you know parts and pieces of automobiles and stuff like that and she is just the most badass woman I've seen ever in a movie and um, she throughout the movie there's other lead women's that lead you know strong women in the movie that are just amazing and it makes the movie that much better that you can have a strong male part and a strong woman part um, there's, like I said, there's an old, there's a tribe of older women who ride motorcycles that she's a part of, and basically the storyline is um, this really this warlord that controls all of water, these plants, um, has a ton of people behind him, um, and he he has these kind of sex slaves, um, caretakers that have his children and produce breast milk for him. It's kind of strange and odd. Um, but basically what Furiosa does is steal these these women away from this warlord and they go on a hell raising chase throughout the desert um, trying to find the green land and it's it's amazing um, like I said the it, the the intensity and the action throughout the film does not stop and for two hours you are just glued to your seat staring at the screen just in utter craziness. I mean, like, it's one of those movies that you're on your toes the whole time. Um, overall, the storyline was really good. Um, I think it's George Miller does it again. Um, if you like The Road Warrior, it's very similar to that. Um, storyline obviously different, but it's awesome too because Miller is able to tell the storyline and leave you wondering it, or leaving leave you with enough to make you think what would happen with these characters or what happens and you want to know more about the world, the planet, just the general um, scenery and atmosphere. Um, it's just amazing. Um, and like I said, the characters in it are very, I, I think they have good depth to them and they don't really need to explain themselves within this wasteland and this high impact death match race place. So. Like I said, I, I was very impressed by this movie. Five out of five stars. Um, I will see it again for sure. I'm going to see it probably in another week or two and just, you know, bask in the glory of this movie. Um, I think it's a huge summer blockbuster. If you've seen it already, please let me know what you thought of it. I would love to talk with more people about it and just fans of Mad Max. Um, if you haven't seen it, stop watching this video and go see it now because it is amazing. So that is my... First impression of Mad Max Fury Road, um, like I said, I loved it. Um, I think you should check it out and go see it and just, you know, fangirl flail over it, I guess. But, um, so yeah, that 
that's basically my my review of this and I will have more coming up I got some comics so I'll be doing a pool list soon got my game informer that has Star Wars Battlefront information within it that I'm gonna check out probably do a video of it and there'll be more coming up so yes um, one more thing, I almost have 100 subscribers, so I'm going to be doing my giveaway very soon. Um, I might be giving Season 4 of the Game of Thrones out, or um, my prototype Boba Fett Black Series Hasbro action figure. Um, I might do a gift pass basket or something like that. Let me know what you think, um, give me suggestions, because the giveaway is coming up very, very soon. So, like I said, please connect with me, comment, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Let's connect, let's talk. I'm ready to nerd out with you. So. I'm Sean, and I will see you all next time.